Ready. <laughs> All right, now, what's your language? <coughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Dallas County Board of Commissioners voting session. Today is Thursday, September the 3rd, 2020. Welcome to those that are in attendance and welcome to those that are listening online as well. We'll start out with a roll call. And you can see that we're all here. I ask y'all to please stand for a brief invocation and prayer pl and pledge, please. <clears throat> Would bow your heads. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this another day and for the many blessings of life. We ask for knowledge and wisdom to carry out the business of this great county. Anything that we accomplish will give you the honor and glory in Christ's name. We do ask and pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there any announcements? Any announcements? Do we need to mention the courthouse and be closed? Yes, that's correct. Go ahead. Okay. Courthouse be closed for Labor Day, September 7th. Monday. Monday. Okay. Next up, we have the approval of minutes. First up, we have the minutes of the work session held on August 20th, 2020. Any additions or deletions? Motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Nix. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Gaines. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And those are approved 4-0. Next up, we have the minutes of the voting session held on August 20th, 2020. Any additions or deletions? Motion. Motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett, seconded right. by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And those are approved 4-0. Next up, we have the minutes of special call meeting held on August 20th, 2020. Any additions or deletions? Motion. Okay. Motion by Commissioner Nix. Right. Seconded by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And those are approved 4-0. Next up, we have approval of the agenda. I have uh, three changes to the agenda. Under new business, number three, resolution for the development authority to issue revenue bonds for Peaks of Dawsonville. Number four, under new business, uh, emergency temporary uh, elections employee and number five under new business, uh, the bootlegger triathlon uh, event that's to be held September 13th. With those uh, three additions, I'll entertain a motion for approval of the agenda. I'll make a motion we approve the agenda as amended with the three additions. Motion by Commissioner Gaines. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And the agenda is approved with the three changes, 4-0. Next up, we have public comment. Uh, no one has signed up here for public comment, but I do wanna say to those that are uh, listening to us tonight, uh, our email has been down since yesterday. And so we have not received, been able to receive any email uh, responses uh, throughout the entire day. So if someone has tried to send us one, I apologize. And uh, we will uh, get that email if you've sent us one and we will read it at a later date so that uh, people uh, expressions are heard in the commission meeting. But I do apologize uh, if anyone has tried to send us one, uh, we have not been able to get it due to our, inter to our email being down. All right, so we'll move on to uh, public hearings. First up, we have 911 ordinance update. This is the first of one hearing. Jameson brought that 911 update to us a couple of weeks ago, uh, and we set up this public hearing. Is there any other information needed by the board before I open this hearing? 
Okay? I'll open this here and at this time, is there anyone here to speak on the 911 ordinance update? Anyone here to speak on the 911 ordinance update? Seeing none, I'll close that here and what's the pleasure of the board? I make a motion to approve the 911 ordinance update as presented. Motion by Commissioner Gaines to approve it has presented. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion. Well, is it okay to go ahead with this since the email has been down? <coughs> with, uh, you know, in case somebody had some comments? Well, the public hearing was scheduled for today and it was on the agenda and we've held the hearing. I think you've satisfied the requirements. Okay. <coughs> okay. Good question, though. Mm -hmm. I just want people to be able to get their okay. comments. Any other in. discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that's approved 4 0. Next up, we have the annual capital improvements element update. This is first of one hearing. Jameson also presented that. Uh, let's see that he presented uh, two weeks ago. Is there any other information needed by the board on that? Before I open the hearing. Okay. At this time, I'll open the hearing for the annual capital improvements element update. Anyone here to speak in reference to the annual capital improvements element update? Anyone here to speak on the annual capital improvements element update? Seeing none, I'll close that here and what's the pleasure of the board. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Gaines. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that's approved 4-0. Next up, we'll move on into new business. First up, we have consideration of continuing continuation application for victims of crime act grant for FY 2020 uh, district attorney uh, presented that a couple of weeks ago. Is there any other information needed on that grant application? Motions. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett, seconded by Commissioner Nixt. Discussion. Katie does a good job of that. I mean, she's done, she takes care of a lot of, a lot of people yeah. in need of that. Other discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that's approved 4 -0. Next up, we have consideration of annexation number C210043, and I will defer to the county attorney for that. Discussion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In your packets, you have materials regarding an annexation application that was filed with the city of Dawsonville. Notice of that uh, being provided to the county owner about August 21st. Uh, that reached our office for review that we do in conjunction with uh, Jamison's office. Uh, the analysis uh, has shown that the uh, annexation of the property subject to the application would create uh, an uh, unincorporated island. Um, I think in your packets you have a map. And if you see there's a small parcel on the uh, across the street, I think that's perimeter. It uh, looks like it's parcel number 093005. It's, it's very small uh, numbering on the map. It's actually a, uh, a school board parcel, I believe. I'm not sure what, what goes on there, but that parcel is uh, a part of the unincorporated area of the county outside the city limits. And if the uh, uh, subject property that's subject to the annexation were annexed, uh, that would be cut off and it would create an island with respect to that one tax parcel. And the statute prohibits uh, an annexation from doing that. And so based on that, uh, issue alone, our recommendation is to uh, uh, provide that objection back to the city, uh, advising them uh, that the 
um, annexation would create an uh, unincorporated island. And I suspect the city will then uh, communicate that to the developer and they'll figure out how to address the matter after the fact. What was the parcel number <clears throat> that was the island? Which one? Yeah, is it right zero nine three zero? Oh, is this wrong? Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, go up. No, no, no. No. That right there. That's a school board maintenance shop. Oh, okay. Street. Okay. By them doing that, then that gets zero nine three zero zero five. Okay. Thank you. And that's owned by the school board. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, none of that's in this in the school. Other questions for the county attorney? Can I ask Jameson a question? Yes. Uh, I know this uh, said it was RSR. How many, what could have been the density if it was RSR? So currently the property in that. It's RSR and RA. Yes. So RA is one unit every five acres. Yeah. And, uh, RSR is one unit per acre. One per acre. It's one to one. And that that okay. property is a combination of the two. Do we know how many acres are in each one? Um, no, we don't. Clarify your point. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? I can, I, can, I can get that information to you. Okay. I'm just curious. And in their proposal, what were, were they asking for like 2.3 or how much was it? Did anybody remember? It's 2.124 uh, yeah. lot subdivision, yeah. which would result in a 2 density. Yeah, 2.30, correct. Okay. <clears throat> I don't see Seeing this speaking 20, to any 21 acres is going to be a bar a pit. Yeah, I don't. That's what my next thing. I don't see this speaking to how much um, green space is allotted in that subdivision either. What well, does the city <coughs> even go by? Do they even have requirements for green space percentages? I don't know. Do you know, Jameson? I, I'm unfamiliar. Okay. Any other questions for Jameson? Thank you. Other discussion? Other questions? You've heard the recommendation of the county attorney. What, what's your pleasure? Well, I make a move that we go with the recommendation to uh, send our objection based on it would create this unincorporated island. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Fawcett, seconded by Commissioner Satterfield to send our objection to the city. Any other discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And that's approved 4 0. So you will handle that, correct? Yes, we'll follow up on that tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. All right, move on to number three. Uh, resolution of the development authority to issue revenue bonds for Peaks of Dawsonville. You heard that presentation tonight from the chairman, Tony Passarella. Uh, basically, uh, the resolution to enable, I guess, those people to continue the process in seeking a $10 million uh, bond to build uh, uh, those apartments for the working people. And so they would need my uh, signature on that resolution. And as I told Tony, I like to bring everything before the board before I sign it. So uh, what would be uh, the board's pleasure on that? Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Nix. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 4 0. So I will get with Kristen and sign that document. <clears throat> Next up, we have under new business emergency temp elections employee. Uh, Ms. Glenda brought that to you uh, this afternoon. Uh, 
COVID-19 has kind of turned the election world upside down as well as the uh, astronomical debate between the two parties of not agreeing on nothing. And so her job has become more and more difficult and she needed some additional funding to uh, work through this 2020 election year and that totaled a little over 40,000, I believe it was. And the recommendation from finance was that come out of the contingency. Uh, any other information needed? Motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Fawcett. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Gaines. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that's approved. All right, Ms. Glenda, get us through the year. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have under new business, uh, the bootlegger triathlon. Jameson brought that up earlier today. This is an annual event, been going on since 2011. Uh, any other information needed? Motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Nix. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that's proof 4 0. Next up, we have uh, public comment, and I'll restate what I stated before. Uh, no one signed up that, are, that is here today for public comment, but I will apologize to anyone who's out there listening if they had sent in an email. Uh, we have been unable to receive emails all day, and so uh, we will continue to look at that and, and make sure that they are read at a future time. Uh, we do have need uh, for executive session to discuss litigation. So I will entertain a motion to go into executive session. So move. Motion by Commissioner Gaines. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved, 4-0. Yeah, take about five minutes and then we'll go into executive session. There will be no vote coming out of the executive session. Thank you for your attendance.